here student voices really do matter. We push the limits while creating lifelong relationships. We shine our example on Spokane through community involvement. So at this place, we're like family and our teachers are our friends. I know that when I leave, I will leave my footprint behind. Spokane Valley High School is like a long lost family reunited. I was blessed years ago to meet Larry Bush. Okay, so all I'm going to ask you for information. And we had a vision of what school should be like for kids. We take them uh, where they are when they come, and then we work with them on their thinking skills. As they discover what they can do, and they discover that they are curious learners, then they know that they can be successful. Okay. Here you are. Awesome. You're on your way. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. Having a small and having small class sizes allows time for teachers to talk with kids and to listen. It's a tremendous amount of work to get to know your students well enough to get those changes to happen, but then tremendously rewarding in the long run to watch the changes that, that occur and see the successes. So. It's the absolute foundation of what we do. Uh, relationships help us, first of all, get to know not just who our students are, but we get to know their backgrounds, we get to know how they think, why do they think that way, and how do I help them to expand that thinking and add new kinds of thinking to them. It isn't only about the academics, it's about the person. That's where we shine being able to have a relationship with our kids and our parents. Acting out or you're still choosing We're, we're, we're going to make some... We have to write, write it out in like human words. <laughs> That's all I keep saying. Not power. But. What are the skills required by our world for people to go out and survive in the, in the world that we've created? It's coming. Uh, we want students to be flexible, able to use technology. We want them to be able to communicate well in teams and groups and solving problems. So we want to make sure they have skills to survive in the world, in college, in work, and just even in their families. Yeah. Inspired from Hamlet. Yeah. I think a lot of times when people think hands-on or project-based, they think that we're just playing. Um, they, that we're just messing around with stuff and that the rigor isn't there. Uh, but actually the rigor is there, but it's a different kind of rigor. Uh, it's requiring a lot of thinking and problem solving. So that's what the other half of the art is for. So here we're trying to use our class time with our students to model great thinking. As a staff member, I'm not an expert in every kind of thinking, but I'm an expert in scientific thinking. So in my class, how can I model great thinking and help students learn how to think scientifically in more sophisticated ways. This side has a big cavity and it's really big. That's more than just memorization. It's more than just learning a bunch of parts of the body or something like that. I think that has to be learned through modeling and through seeing experts do that. That's what we try to do more of in the classroom is have those interactions. The biggest thing is how do we help a student find success and happiness in their life, whatever that may be. So when I come back to why do I do this, what, what is the overall mission of this school is to take every single one of our students, all of them, and find for each one of them what is their unique pathway to their personal success, whatever that is. Our kids are going to walk out of this school uh, tapping into their brains and learning how to identify resources, learning to identify that this is the problem, and how do I go about solving it. They're going to be thinkers.